Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm the Essen Lauder Company's Global Ambassador for the Breast Cancer Campaign. Hi, I'm Dr Zoe and I'm 39 years old. Hello, my name is Lauren and I'm 34 years old. Hi, my name is Leanne Perro and I'm 33 years old. My name's Laura, I'm a very proud 42 year old. I've worked at Estee Lauder Companies for 13 years. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in the UK and the sad fact is that almost all of us will know somebody who's been affected by breast cancer. So someone that is diagnosed with breast cancer worldwide every 15 seconds. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 31. In my own family, my grandmother died of breast cancer in the early 90s. They weren't 100% sure if it was cancer, but it certainly had the potential to become cancer. He felt in a year or two it would have been a very different discussion. My first ever boyfriend um, this year lost his wife to breast cancer at the tender age of 32. I knew that my grandmother had breast cancer, I obviously knew that my mum had breast cancer, my grandmother's first cousins, all the female first cousins got breast cancer as well. My mother died of breast cancer. Just six months prior to my own diagnosis, I had just nursed my mum back from breast cancer for the second time, and it was then when I discovered a lump. Her words were, I'm not gonna beat around the bush, Leanne, we've been here before, we found cancer. This campaign was launched in 1992, that's the year that I was born. And my whole life, nobody's ever said to me, not my friends, not school or uni or the doctors, nobody said, okay, this is how you should be checking your breasts. Most women my age and younger are not even aware of how to check their breasts or that they should check their breasts. It's not something that is spoken about freely, I don't feel in our generation. This illness was not being spoken about. So many were being diagnosed, but so many people weren't talking about it. When it comes down to it, I forget a lot. And I know a lot of the girls that I know in my life, my friends, my family, don't self-check. One of our main messages has always been to tell women to familiarise themselves with their own breasts. And I think it's something we need to talk about again. My lump, the first I ever felt of it, it was a tiny little nodule and I was 25 and I did nothing about it. Because I, I, I wasn't aware of what it was, I just thought, oh, that's weird and that was it, I left it for five years. And I'm so grateful that it's benign, but it could have gone very differently. And had I have known better, I would have done better. I, I never do it. I never check my breasts ever. Like, it's almost like a phobia. So I'm telling everyone to do it, and I can't bring myself to do it. So that's why I want to be involved. I'm aware that in my community, whether for religious or for cultural reasons, um, because of the sexual connotations associated with breasts, women aren't always comfortable talking about breast cancer. Our naked body is the greatest machine that we will ever own, so it's so important that we look after it, and that includes checking our breasts. It's vital that women of all ages get into the habit of checking their breasts regularly. There's no reason to be embarrassed. The chances are it's nothing, but if we do need to do further investigations, then we can do so. So do come and see us. When you are doing a breast examination, it should be part of your self-care. Same as you go for a wax, same as you go for a haircut, you should be checking your breasts on a regular basis. And you're not checking for cancer, you're just getting to know your girls. What's going on up here? What's normal for you? What is it like the same day of your cycle every month? Um, because then if something does change and it's persistent and it doesn't go away, you're then empowered to go to your GPs, you're empowered to go to your clinical teams and say, this isn't right. The moment you discover something that's not right for you, not normal for you, and just a little change in your boobs that just doesn't feel normal and routine, you can act swiftly and decisively by going to see a doctor. We need to make sure that we are self-checking and that we are confident in doing that. I check once a month now. Uh, without fail. The message that I think I most want to share with my audience, my community, is remind yourself, find a way to remind yourself to check, because I think in terms of self-checking, it's so easy to know what to do, do it once or twice, but then actually let it drop off your radar. I get women messaging me saying, because you're sharing your story, I've checked my breasts. I'm getting my daughter to check her breasts. I've got a support group starting in my hospital because I've seen you share your story. So for me, that's what it's all about. 
and that's why I support this campaign. What I hope is that by actually admitting to myself and other people that although I've been recommending and encouraging people to check that I haven't even had the courage to do it myself. Understanding and raising awareness for young women and men is really important to me. If I'm talking about it on my platform, it makes people feel like it's something normal and it's something that everybody should be talking about and not leaving to the doctor's surgery or to the hospital. I would love for people my age and everyone to be able to speak to their family so they can understand their family history because breast cancer can affect anyone and without speaking about it, you might not know that you might be slightly more at risk. We have some excellent leaflets that we're handing out this year to instruct women how to check their own breasts. Don't let fear win, just get in there and do it. Knowledge is power, but knowledge is also comfort. And the knowledge and the expertise that is available and has been available to me via the work that Estee Lauder companies have done, by the conversations I've had with Elizabeth Hurley, have made a huge difference, not just to me, but to my audience as well. I don't want any other 30 year old to go through what I had to go through because it was horrific. It's so easy, it's so simple um, to do a self check or to have a mammogram, just to have a look and check there's no problems because, um, yeah, it's important. That's the message we need to get out. It's not about finding the disease, it's about if you find it, catching it early because your chances of survival will be sky high. Time to end breast cancer. 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 It's time to end breast cancer. Time to end breast cancer. Time to end breast cancer.